August 23rd, 2014 was one of the happiest days of my life. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. So it took me about a year to plan our engagement day. I just wanted everything to be perfect. So I started the day off by placing white arrows outside of her bedroom door while she was still sleeping. And along with the white arrows was a little note that said, you look so peaceful I couldn't wake you. P.S. Follow the arrows for a surprise. And those white arrows then led to her outfit for the day. And that outfit consisted of a red dress, a little red purse, uh, some red shoes, and I also had a family friend meet her at her house uh, to do her hair. I remember just sitting in my car a couple blocks down the road, just waiting for her mom to text me that she was ready so that we could get the day officially started. And when I got that text, I pulled up and uh, I pulled up in an old 1960s, 1950s truck and was wearing my Noah Calhoun outfit. And that's when the day officially started. Uh, our first stop was we went to the lake and uh, I had a canoe waiting for us there. So we just spent the morning out on the water. It's like a dream. And after we did that for a while, lunch rolled around. So I took her to a 1950s themed diner where we shared the classic uh, burger and milkshakes. And it wouldn't be a proper date if we didn't go out for dessert as well. So after lunch, I took her to this little outdoor ice cream shop and that is where we recreated the um, scene where Allie shoves ice cream into Noah's face. And that was, that was really fun. That's really nice. Mm. And then it was time for what was my favorite part of the day. Well, second favorite. So we went back out to the lake where I gave her a swimsuit to change into. Now the swimsuit actually took a really long time to find and put together, especially the headband. I think I found the headband like a week before the actual engagement date. And that's where we did the famous see if you're a bird, I'm a bird scene. And this right here is one of my favorite pictures of all time. When you look at it next to the one from the movie, it's, it's pretty crazy. And then the rest of the afternoon we just kind of spent at my house. We relaxed, uh, I read her some poetry. Oh, and we painted. Obviously painting is not one of our greatest strengths. So once it got darker, we went to a drive-in movie theater. And I don't even remember what movie we saw. I just remember laughing a lot. And then it was time. So after the movie, we started walking down Main Street. And as we started to go across the crosswalk, I stopped her in the middle of the road and we started to dance. Then we laid down in the street for a little while. And when we finally decided to get up, that's when I dropped down to one knee and asked the girl of my dreams to marry me. And she said yes. 